richly spiced laksa soup that tastes like it's been simmered for hours. But this is my cheats version, my friends. This is my prawn and dumpling laksa soup. My freezer is never without frozen dumplings. Just you know, packet frozen dumplings from the supermarket. I'm not a food snob, <laughs> but what are all the different ways you can use them? So this is one of my favorite ways. We're gonna make a really rich laksa noodle soup here, and we're gonna do it in like a matter of minutes. So let's go, let's do it. A little bit of oil into my wok here. And the cheat we're gonna to use today is some red curry paste instead of making our own laksa paste. And this is kind of like a, um, a curry laksa flavor. So I know there are lots of different types of laksa in the world. Uh, this one is very much a curry laksa. So I'm gonna add curry paste first. And then to give it the laksa flavor and not a Thai red curry flavor, what I need to do is add a little bit of curry powder. So I'm gonna add that in. And this is just a mild curry powder. You could try lots of different types of curry powder. You could also do garam masala as well. It's basically just adding in a few more dried spices to give you a bit more of that laksa flavor. Okay, so just get that sizzling in the oil here. So here's an optional extra. I happen to have some Vietnamese mint, also known as laksa leaf. Um, it just happened to be at my local fruit shop this morning, so I grabbed some. But again, I am trying to keep this kind of like pantry weeknight friendly, so if you don't have it, just leave it out. I'm gonna pop that in with my curry paste. Add in some coconut milk. Now I've tried to really stick with some pretty solid like pantry and freezer type ingredients here. So I do have some chicken stock, but I literally just made this up from some stock cubes. So not very fancy and also very easy. <laughs> We're adding so much flavor in here. No one will know, no one will know. Okay, now just a few other little seasoning ingredients here. A little bit of sugar and some fish sauce. So I'm just gonna let that simmer away for a little bit. Let all those flavors make friends in there. Now while the soup broth is doing its thing, let's do our noodles. So I'm using some laksa rice vermicelli noodles. You could literally use whatever noodles you have in your pantry for this one. I have my laksa noodles, they're going in to some water. Let's toss them around a little bit so they separate a little easier. Now coming back to our soup, it's looking really lush already. It's literally been like five minutes, if that. Uh, I'm gonna add in my prawns. And again, prawns are something that I like to keep in the freezer as well, just for this kind of situation. But you could actually just leave them out or you could use chicken if you like as well, just thinly sliced chicken thigh. Now they only need about two or three minutes until they're just cooked. And this is one tip, big tip that I have for noodle soups. And you might just say, well, why don't you just chuck the noodles in with the soup. Well, if you have a look at that water, it's very cloudy. So a lot of starch has come off those noodles and that is a lot of starch and a lot of flavor that you don't want affecting your actual noodle soup broth. So that's why I do it. And that's why also I'm gonna cook my dumplings separately as well. So I'm gonna pop those in there now. They just need a few minutes. And then I just had some greens kicking around in my fridge. You could use um, frozen spinach, you could use baby spinach. I just happen to have some pak choy and bok choy. I'm gonna give them a wash. Once the dumplings are ready, you can just scoop those out to your bowl. And then I'm just gonna quickly blanch my greens in that water as well. Just because we're doing a cheats version doesn't mean we can't do a nice version, you know what I mean? Still needs to be great. And these vegetables now are beautifully tender and bright green because they haven't been soaking in like some boiling water for a long time. I just think that's the problem with vegetables. People cook them for too long. That's my one rant for the day, there you go. <laughs> okay, if you have a look here, my prawns are just cooked through. Let's get this done, people. All right, soup going onto my noodles, a couple of prawns. Now I always get asked this question, are prawns the same as shrimp? In Australia, we call uh, our prawns prawns, not shrimp. <laughs> Does that make sense? Although it's very confusing because Paul Hogan back way back when was talking about putting a shrimp on the barbie, right Holly? But yeah. we don't put shrimps on the barbie, we put prawns on the barbecue. That's right, people. <laughs> Is that like my second rant for the day? <laughs> This looks great to me though. 
that's the main thing. I'm going to put an egg on here because you've got to have an egg on noodle soup. It's my third rant for the day. <laughs> very rant. I'm very opinionated today, aren't I? If you would like to, you can just pop an egg on your soup. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, nearly finished. So we have some bean shoots here. Again, these are like optionals. If you don't have these things, it's totally fine. Um, and then a little bit more of my Luxa leaf. So this looks totally delicious. I mean, you know, but let's not take my word for it. Let me try it and then I'll give you my word on it. <laughs> okay, let's get in here and try it. Oh, I love that you can make that kind of soup, like literally in minutes. Look at the color, it's amazing. Ah. Oh. Yum. I mean, it does, it literally tastes like it's been simmering for like hours and hours. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. So yum. Mm. I could just noodle soup any day of the week, really. Yum. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, that's good. Yum. Hey guys, if you want to know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you!